hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope everyone is well thank you guys for staying with me i'm back again just like i promised i'll be keeping you guys updated yeah yeah i think i know you guys might be tired of hearing me saying that i won't go so long without staying keeping you guys in the loop anymore so thank you guys thank you for, to all my new subscribers both my old ones those have gone that have come back thank you guys so much i can feel your love and thank you for getting me thank you thank you guys thank you guys so much i want to do a short video here not in so long i want to talk about self-care yeah self-care is a very big topic i know there's no i wouldn't say i'm an expert in self-care but i just want to talk about a few things that i've done that really helped me with my own self-care in how to stay healthy and happier and how it has worked for me so i'm just going to talk about my own self-care how i self-care how i take how me time and how it has helped me to remain focused and balanced and not to be stressful so those are the few tips i want to share today in this video and i hope you you find it helpful the way it has helped me in balancing my workload and my life as a whole so i hopefully this will help you and if you if you're somebody that doesn't self-care at all before maybe this will inspire you to start doing a bit of self-care and taking more care of yourself and looking at your own well-being as a person so one of them self-care itself is just it's something you do to relax yourself that's self-care anything that you do that you you use to distress yourself is self-care like if you have a, a very healthy day or a very stressful day that oh oh you feel so tired i was like oh my god what a day i've had today so i think that's the best time best time to take to to go and look at your self-care what do you do to distress yourself to relax and feel refreshed after a busy and a healthy day at work or at school or even at home you do have a stressful day at home as well so it doesn't have to be only when you go to school or when you go to work even staying at home you could have a stressful day from doing all the going up and down fixing the whole house arranging stuff so i just feel it's something that we as human we never take time to pause to look at ourselves and take a minute to take a breathe and relax a bit we don't do that that often i'm kind of a person that i don't do that at all my whole life i never do distress i just go 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 and if you keep going 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 you're going to burn out so one of the main reasons why you do self-care is to avoid burnout so that you don't get stressed while you're getting to the point that you start snapping, snapping, snapping. So it's good to self-care, take a minute or two to relax and review your day and, and rest. Yes, yes. It's something that we African people are not very good at doing it. I know most of the Westerners are very good at it, especially mothers. They don't take a minute to take a, a minute to breathe and have a me time. I always used to call it my me time. Before, what I used, used to do as my self-care before I improve it to a new level is I have a cup of tea and my ginger biscuit. Sorry, I didn't get to show it in this video. My me time normally involves tea and ginger biscuits. But when I started watching my weight and trying to lose weight, I was like, okay, no, that can't continue to be my self-care. I need to cut biscuits and any junk food out of my diet. So that's the self-care I used to do out of the window. So I have to look for a new self-care. So that's where I started looking. I normally have my cup of tea, and my ginger biscuits, and music on or my headphones on and I have a me time but now that I don't want to eat ginger biscuit again what can I do for a new self-care so I started looking I I'm somebody that if I go for a, a walk I get itchy so I try to avoid going for a walk or I do my workout in the house or register for a gym or find another way of doing workout I hate going for a walk but now that 
the only thing I use for self-care has stopped working. I have to look for a new one. So I started going for a walk. So I have my headphones on still with the music. I love music. So still with my music on, I love watch, listening to clean Christian music, worship, whatsoever that is spirit lifting. For, for that 5, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it's my me time me relaxing, listening to music and doing whatever I want to do. So I started started going for a walk. So in order for me not to get itchy and get discouraged, I don't go for a too much long walk. I just go for like a 15 minutes walk. Within that 15 minutes, I have my music on. So I'm relaxed. And by the time I come back, the stress is gone, a new headspace, ready to face the day, ready to do whatever I want to do. So that's one of the way I do self-care. Before I used to use cooking as self-care because I love cooking, but girl, who can use cooking as self-care? Because when you finish cooking, you will be tired. There will be so many dishes for you to, to wash, clean, and clean the whole house. It's very interesting, you know. Don't get me wrong. I love cooking, so I still do it. But after you finish cooking, I'll be too tired. So that's not self-care. Because self-care is something that when you finish doing, you're relaxed. You are energetic. You're ready to, like, feel, oh, oh, I have my energy back. I can conquer the world. But when you do your self-care and you come back tired, that's not self-care. That's you just burning out some energy but self-care is something that you need to do just to relax yourself forget about anything it's just your my time my me time i normally used to call it my me time if it's you watching tv good is it you reading good that's you just need to find your own self-care something that works for you that you consistently do it it's some it's a choice you have to choose to do it in order for you to strengthen yourself that's this is one of the things i learned from going back to school before i went back to school what is self-care to me i just go 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 then i get to a point that i'm so tired and i become cranky and i'm shouting that's one thing people don't know. They are getting the point of burnout. That's why they are shouting and they are cranky. But if they take time out and do self-care, relax, ease out the stress, you will not get to the point of burnout where you are shouting and everybody around you is just getting irritated with you. Take time out, relax, do something that relaxes you, that you don't feel stressful about. That is self-care. Because we there's one of these quotes we normally use in our school. There's one of my lecturers that talks about you. You can't give, you can't start from an empty cup. So see yourself as a cup. If there's no, nothing inside the cup, you can't serve another person. So you as a person, you need to be able to be filled, energetic, before you can serve another person, before you can be around any other person. Because if you're not relaxed, if you're not feel of love and comfort and relaxation, you won't be able to give. You can't serve from an empty cup. The cup has to be full before you can serve another person. So if you take time out to relax, distress yourself, then you will be able to serve people, be around people. People will be happy around you. Since I started doing a few of these things, changing my self-care routine, I've found out that I'm more relaxed. I don't get worked up about certain things because once I'm getting worked up or getting tired, I, I realize that, oh, girl, I need a me time. So I drop everything I do, go for a small walk or pick up a book or listen to some kind of music. If it's late in the night already that I can't go out for a walk or anything, I pick up my headphones, listen to music, listen to some inspiring talk that will lift my spirit up and I distress myself. So that's the way I do self-care. Please try it and see. Find what is your self-care is a question I'm posting back to you guys, my viewer. What is your self-care? Look at your life review. Find something that you do that you enjoy. And after that, you are relaxed and more energetic. So that's my my talk for today. What is your self-care? Look back to, to your life review and see what is your self-care. And try to do something to distress yourself and... You'll be more happier and you'll be able to serve others with full of joy and energy. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and thumbs up and like it. Thank you. Bye.